I was visiting with a friend recently who had traveled and they stayed in some different Airbnbs. In this one, they slept well. In that one, they didn't. It was defiled land. They were visitors. They didn't know about the condition of the land. They showed up. And what had happened there before they came affected them because land is a battery and it soaks up defilement. The question on the table today is, what can you do? What should you do? If you are traveling and the place where you're spending the night is defiled, what can you do? If you're in a neighborhood, what can you do? Across the street from where I live, right there, is a house that was inhabited by some messy people. They were apparently running a drug lab. Who knows what else was going on? They got evicted, and the landlord has spent tens of thousands of dollars in fixing up the house. New shower, new paint, new floor is not going to really impress the critters. So somebody new is going to move in there, see the paint, see the floor, see the lawn, see the trees, and be excited about moving into a spiritually defiled place. What can you do? What should you do? How do you cleanse defiled land? The house that direction had a suicide. And it's defiled the place. The people that came after suffered from that suicide, even though all the tenants that survived the suicide left. The people that live there now have some severe fracturing. And that house is on a ley line. And that ley line runs through the defiled house and through my property. What can I do about it? How can I cleanse defiled land? If you go to our website and use the search engine and type in defiled land, you get a very short list, not very encouraging. There's a way to beat the system and to get far more data out of the search engine than just your initial search. Come with me, let me show you an insider's trick to find the answers to how we deal with the defiled property. We're back on the home page of the web. We click search SLG and type in defiled land. And what you immediately find is that there's only five references to it. And that is not much to draw from, although there's stuff there. If you're looking for defiled land relating to business, this Sapphire Business DNA is, I think, one of my finest teachings ever. Anybody should listen to it, whether they're in business or not. If you're looking for family, Parenting and Land is an album that has been largely overlooked, etc. So there's five here, but there's another problem. Look here at the suggestions. You know when you type in Google, there's this big drop-down menu of suggestions, and it's hacked. It's got an algorithm. It is not entirely representative of what you're looking for. And what you need to understand is that this set of suggestions is generated by somebody else's algorithm, and I don't trust it. I don't like it but we can't really make it go away. Someday we'll fix it, but we like a reality-based search engine. And you need to understand that I am very much a positive person, not a negative. I don't want to just find a demon under every bush. I want to find a solution. So if you were to do the opposite search from defiled land and do this one, cleansing land, I'm going to click because it's here, that's going to give you a totally different picture. 23 major mentions, 20 moderate, 4 minor, all sorts of choices here because I'm much more interested in cleaning it up than in just discussing it. Now, most of this material initially is on the app. This one, cleansing the land related to conception. What happens if you are conceived on really, really defiled land? Well, according to um, Psalm 87, there are some issues with that. There's a whole series on cleansing land, as you can see. And then we move into the downloads. What about the cross is one of my favorite discussions because in the early years of spiritual warfare, people would say, 
Jesus' death on the cross covered everything. We don't need to deal with the demons and the generational sins. Well, I beg to differ, and I present a theological answer to that question of what about the cross. This one in the Shame to Dignity album and the one following matters so much to me because shame can be sticky, meaning you can't get past it, you can't do the inner healing because you got a trauma bond to the land. And it is so simple when you have the tools to disconnect from the land that is causing the shame to be sticky so that you can move past that episode and into a place of dignity. So in general, when you don't find what you want in terms of a negative expression, try flipping the language around to the healing, the cleansing, the repairing, the restoring, the building, some one of those ING words that flows from the deeper part of who I am, and you're apt to find a whole lot more information than just the diagnostic phrase. You see that the built-in algorithm has no suggestions here for what else is related to cleansing land, and that's fine. We're working on this. Bit by bit, we will improve the search engine. But right now, you know it's honest. You know it's not rigged. What you ask for is what you're going to find. And until we find a way to expand from the negative to the positive, you need to do it in your own mind. If we had a healing, cleansing, repairing, rebuilding, restoring, redeeming, if we had an ING word to plug there in front of the noun, what might Arthur have used? Do a search for that and you'll find so much more than defiled land, a paltry five.